What's up, YouTube? Ryan back today with another Minor League Monday. We're talking about a gigantic shortstop prospect in the major leagues, easily top five. Today we're talking about Marco Luciano, you guys. He's the number 29th overall prospect in the major leagues, and he's the number two prospect for the Giants themselves. Marco Luciano, you guys, he's only 19 years old, 6'2", 178. So he has a large frame and plenty of room to grow into it because as you guys can see in that video we watched earlier, he's skinny. He has a lot of room to build muscle. Frame is not going to be a problem for him at all. I think his frame is perfect for the shortstop position. And I said he is a top five shortstop prospect earlier. In my personal opinion, that was based off numbers. In my opinion, he might be a top three or even higher up because he really does seem legit. The scouts grade Luciano extremely well. 55 hit, above average. 60 power, which is out of this world for his frame. Like, he is skinny right now. So that is crazy to see a 60 power rating, in my opinion. 45 runs, so he's okay. He, he's not slow. He's not a speedster either. Maybe he gets faster with age, training, and maybe this, maybe the trainers will whip him in the shape. You never know. He, he, he could get faster. 60 arms, so he's got a crazy good arm at shortstop. That won't be an issue. And 50 fielding, so 50 fielding's fine. 55 overall. I'm still blown away with the 60 power. I, I really am obsessed with that. Like I said earlier, you guys, Marco Luciano, he's only 19 years old. He actually just turned 19 in September, so still extremely young. And I think the, the Giants did really, really well on this signing. I think we're going to see Luciano in the pros in no time. Let's jump into his stats a little bit. So 2019, you guys, is his only year in the pros. Obviously, with the minors not happening last year, the 2019 class just... It kind of got screwed. Everyone in the minors got screwed with 2019 for sure because they just don't have a lot of stats to go off of. Like when I'm making these videos, the 2019 class is the most difficult to really get behind a player because they only have that one year. But Luciano is definitely someone that stands out among a lot of the 2019 performers. And we're going to talk about that here in a second. So he played for two teams. He played in rookie ball to start off his career. And then they moved them to low a so we're mostly just going to be focusing on rookie ball here arizona rookie ball league luciano absolutely murdered it he destroyed rookie ball you guys he hit 322 with a 438 on base percentage 616 slugging and a 1055 ops on top of that you guys he hit 10 home runs in 38 games it's absolutely nuts Especially, like I said, he's skinny right now. He doesn't have a frame for you. You look at him, you said, that dude can hit a home run. You look at him, and you're like, eh, yeah, he's probably like a scrappy baseball player. No, this dude's hitting for power. Offensively, I don't have a lot of criticism with him. He did move up to, to low A, and he struggled for nine games. But it's nine games I'm not going to take. I'm taking that with a grain of salt. He still had four doubles in those nine games, so he still can prove that he can hit extra base hits. But... Again, nine games, 30 at-bats. I'm not even looking at low A. If you want to take those stats for whatever they are, go for it. I'm not worrying about it because he had over 150 at-bats in rookie ball and just absolutely mashed. Yeah, I know rookie ball can sometimes be misleading, but usually when you get those performers that absolutely exceed in rookie ball, it's not a fluke. You can look at players sometimes and be like, eh, it's rookie ball. He hit like 285. Congratulations. But 10 home runs in 38 games, the Duke can hit a home run straight up. And the most impressive thing to me, other than the 10 home runs, is that the Duke can draw a walk too. 27 walks in 38 games. So he has a great plate presence. He doesn't swing at crappy pitches. Yeah, his strikeouts were won a game pretty much, but that's kind of just where the game's moving these days. People do not care if they strike out, unfortunately, <laughs> but that's just what it is. 27 walks in 38 games is insane. That and the 10 home runs, I just can't get over. Very, very impressive. I'm super excited for the 2021 season, you guys. I, I just am so, so excited for it. You have no idea. I cannot wait 
to see how some of these players pan out, especially from the 2019 class, because like I said, we only have one year under their belt and a lot of the guys have only played like 40 games. So it's not even like a full year under their belt. So we'll see what Luciano does in 2021. I expect big things yet again from him. And we're going to jump into his card prices and they're going to reflect that as well, because he is definitely, you're going to have to pay the premium for his stuff. So with Marco Luciano, you guys, we're pretty much just going to be focusing on his 2019 Bowman Chrome. Um, his paper stuff you can pick up for the cheapest if you are into the Bowman first paper. I don't think it's a bad collection piece, but they're really cheap. You can pick them up for like a couple bucks. But the Bowman Chromes you do have to pay a premium for. Like, for example, this one you got the paper and the chrome for $19 right here. $15.50 for just the one card. So with me, usually when I'm looking at prospects and Bowman's firsts, the chrome cards, I would I really like paying less than $10 for them when I feel like I'm getting like a really good deal. So I do think he's, you're going to pay the premium for Marco Luciano, like PSA 10, $83. That's definitely a lot higher than the average prospect, especially of a prospect that's only played in about four, what is it? 50 games in the minors graded PSA 10. I would like to see under $50. And when I really feel like I'm getting a steal. So, so if Luciano's prices ever do end up dropping, I'm going to be buying like crazy. I, really like luciano and i do think his stuff's kind of expensive i think his psa 9 is affordable though 23 dollars for a psa 9 isn't that bad um again it's just a little bit higher than i'd like but it's not the worst um i would definitely recommend buying raw most most likely for luciano just because i like i said you're paying the premium and he doesn't have a ton of experience so i'm always a little iffy with my prospects you guys you guys know that i don't like wasting money investing in prospects at the premium for very low experience is tough for me personally. Let me know what you guys think of that in the, the comments. Like these people jump in on Jason Dominguez, like he's the next big thing and paying thousands of dollars for his, his autographs. I can't do it. I just can't. Marco Luciano, I do think he is worth the investment. I'm not, I don't think any of these cards, like if you buy them, you're screwed. Like I completely think that if you have the money go for it like $93 for the mojo refractor PSA 10 like I don't think it's a bad buy by no means you guys do I think Marco Marco Luciano is a bad buy you're just gonna be paying a little bit extra I'm looking to pick up a couple of his raw cards probably I was looking through his stuff and I haven't seen a single like just base Bowman first refractor of him so I'm not sure where those are it looks like your best option is the mojo for a, like a, a non-numbered refractor but yeah, guys, 80 bucks, PSA 10, 15 for base is pretty much what you're looking at here. 30 for the mega box refractor. So not the worst prices in the world. We've definitely seen more expensive, but definitely more of a premium for Marco Luciano because he is super hyped up. That rookie ball season definitely pushed his prices. And then if we want to talk about his autos, you guys, you will be paying the premium. Anything BGS graded over $500. PSA 10 base auto 770. Uh, his stuff's just very expensive. I would like to find a raw price really quick just to see. I know it's hard to find raw prices for some of these guys out of 50, 1100. Right here, base autograph $255. Do I think it's the worst purchase in the world? No, because he has shown at the pro level that he can succeed. I think he's a better purchase than, like I said, like Jason Dominguez. Like I'd rather buy someone like him that has played at the pro level for a much cheaper price, but that's still expensive. For there are a lot of players you can get for a lot cheaper. End of the day, you guys, you're going to be paying the premium for Marco Luciano. If you want to pick him up, I'm not going to be mad at you. If you want to wait, see what happens, I'm okay with that too. I recommend picking up his base cards just because they're the most affordable and lower risk. I'm all about the low risk. All right, you guys, that is it for today's Minor League Monday. Marco Luciano seems like an extremely promising shortstop prospect. Seems like he honestly has it all. He's not the best base stealer, so I will say he's probably a four-tool player instead of a five, but no one really cares about stealing bases anymore if you can hit home runs. We've seen everyone in the pros that once stole a lot of bases. Mike Trout, for example, the dude doesn't even steal anymore because he's like, oh, I can just hit like 40 home runs a year. Plus stealing bases comes with more risk for injury, stuff like that. So I don't think base stealing is a huge deal. He's not the fastest player in the world, but a solid four tool player and his hitting just seems like next level stuff. Again, he's only played at rookie ball. So we'll see what happens in 2021. This is someone that you definitely need to put on your radar though. And, and I definitely recommend picking up just a couple of his cards if you want, because this is someone 
we might not want to miss the boat on. You never know. He might be the next big thing because he definitely is trending in that direction. But yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. More Minor League Mondays to come. I'm actually going to do a top five cards that I think you should purchase before the minor league season starts. I'm really excited to do that, actually. It's going to take me a little bit of time because I want to make sure I'm really accurate with those. But I think that's going to be not... It's either going to be next week or the week after his video. So I'm really excited for that. But yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. As always, you guys have a great rest of your week. See ya.